Revit has a variety of wall styles and types that you can choose from. To see some of these styles, let's activate the wall command from underneath the architecture tab and select on the word wall. Pick on wall architectural and then on the type selector list on properties, we'll see one of those many wall styles that are available to us. Click the picture of the wall and here we'll see that there's a basic wall and these are a variety of different wall styles associated with the basic wall type. Some of these have multiple materials and different kinds of structural properties associated with these walls, while others are very generic walls that can be used during the design process and can be replaced with some of the more complex walls that we see on the list. Also, if we move down, we'll find some curtain wall types and different styles of curtain walls, as well as a stacked wall type and one style of stacked wall. The stacked wall wall type, what it does is it allows you to stack more than one of the basic wall types, such as we saw up here at the top of the list, on top of each other. Just so that we can see that, if we click on the exterior brick over CMU with metal stud wall, and then draw in plan view that wall type. Next, let's take a look at this in 3D. Come up to your 3D icon, which looks like a little house, and click on it. Here we can see one wall and then a second wall type drawn on top of each other. And together they make up the stacked wall style. Move over, select back on the wall command so we can execute the wall architectural again. The curtain walls are made up of different panels along with mullions in between each of the panels. To draw those, it's drawn them the same way. You'd select, in this case, storefront off of the list. And even in 3D, you can draw this. Click your first point, click your next point, and then you'll start to see your storefront wall drawn in place with glass panels and mullions automatically attached. Then you have your basic wall styles, and then picking one of the basic wall styles off of the list. In this case, I'll select the brick on CMU, click here. Draw over in this direction. One of the interesting things that has happened in this case is that we're actually looking at the back of the wall. So to see the other side of the wall, come over and click on one of these corners, in this case, one of the outside edges of the view cube. By selecting on the corner of the view cube, it'll automatically spin your model around and you'll be able to see that material on the exterior side of this particular wall. So there are three major different wall categories inside of Revit. The first one, and if we select on wall and wall architectural, we'll be able to see it in the type selector list. And that is the basic wall type. That's probably 90% of the walls that you do inside of the program are a basic wall. And then you could select any of these and draw them in. Then there are curtain walls, which are panels with mullions surrounding them. And the final wall type is a stacked wall wall type, which combines one of the basic wall types and another one of the basic wall types. And when you draw them, it'll draw them directly on top of one another. Whenever you're working on a project, simply find the kind of wall that you want to draw, highlight it here in the type selector list, and that will be the type of wall that you're drawing inside of the drawing area.